everyone, today I'm going to talk about the main differences between the deluxe resort hotels at Disney World and the moderate Disney World resort hotels. Obviously the main difference is the money and I suspect that if you're really trying to make a conscious decision about that then you already know that the main difference is the money. Deluxe resort hotels are a lot more expensive and lots of people question whether it's worth it and so I'm here just to go through the differences just so hopefully that can help you guys make a decision on that. Right, so first up, the dining options at the deluxe resort hotels are generally much better than they are at the moderate resort hotels. Most moderates do have one table service and a food court. No deluxes have a food court, but they all have a quick service restaurant. They all have poolside bars, they all have lounges, and they all have table services. Some of the deluxe resort hotels have signature table service restaurants as well as the normal table service restaurants. Most deluxe resort hotels have their own balcony, not all of them, and for example at the Polynesian a lot of the rooms have balconies but I think all the rooms on the first floor don't have balconies. But all the deluxe resort hotels will have a ground floor patio. None of the moderate resort hotels have balconies. And touching slightly on that fact, all deluxe resort hotels have indoor entrances, while the moderate ones all have external ones. But you do literally walk from the outside into the inside of your room. So the lobbies at the deluxe resort hotels are absolutely stunning. I literally walk into each and every one of them and think, oh my god, wow. If you're not staying in a deluxe resort hotel, then definitely make a point of going to see some of the lobbies. Boardwalk Inn is so cool. Polynesian, amazing. Grand Floridian, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Plus they have a jazz band and a piano player. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Oh, and Wilderness Lodge, that lobby is breathtaking and the Animal Kingdom Lodge, and the Beach Club. So pretty much, I'm not gonna name all of them, but it's literally all of them. All the moderate hotels do have a lobby, but they're not beautiful. They, they do look nice, but just in comparison to the deluxe, they're not jaw-dropping. I'd say in the deluxe resort hotels, you would spend time in the lobby. We would play cards and hang out and just chill in the lobby just for a different, atmosphere and space, but I'm not sure you would really do that in the moderates. On the whole, moderates are absolutely massive, with the exception of Port Orleans French Quarter, and you can be placed in your room 10 to 15 minute walk away from the main food court area. You will always be close to transportation, but you might be really, really far away from the main pool. And also, if you get a free cup and you can only fill that up at the food court, then walking 15 minutes just to get a drink doesn't always seem like the best use of time. Plus, when it's hot, it's the last thing you want to do. The deluxe resorts can also be very, very large, but their amenities tend to be more dotted around, and they're not generally as big as the moderates. My experience of staff at the deluxe resort hotels is phenomenal. They really make you feel like you are the guest of honour when you're even just walking down the pathway or walking back into your building. My experience of this in the moderate is completely the opposite end. I don't know whether it's because I'm not a child or a kid and I'm just like another normal adult, but I don't even get acknowledged when I walk in. They might open the door for me when I come in, but on the whole, you're not really acknowledged in the same sort of way. Though having said that, the staff at the Port Orleans French Quarter were amazing and they open the door when you come in and they sing a little song at you and they were actually really nice. So I do have to give a shout out to them. Most deluxe resort hotels have sleeping accommodation ready set in your room for five people with the exceptions of the Animal Kingdom Lodge, Wilderness Lodge and Boardwalk Inn. So generally they have two queen beds and one single sleeper. You can always ask for an extra single bed if you needed, and if you needed five people at those three deluxes, then I think they do have rooms that accommodate for that. 
most moderates only have sleeping accommodation for four so they just have the two queen beds there are some rooms at various resorts that have a pull down trundle bed but they are more expensive Typically the moderate rooms are smaller than the deluxe rooms, so the moderate rooms on average are 314 square feet and with the deluxe resort hotels the rooms start at 344 square feet and the more money you spend and the larger room you get the larger they go. The deluxe resort hotels have a lot more storage space so they have a lot more closed cupboard and drawer room. Most of the moderates just have an open wardrobe so you'd see your clothes the whole holiday and you just sort of hang it up on a bar instead of closing it and hiding it away. If you are a neat freak then this does make a difference because it is much harder, harder to keep your moderate room tidier. When Disney do dining packages, when they do a free dining package, you will often get the regular dining plan for free with the deluxe, but only the quick service dining plan free with the moderates. So if you wanted the proper Disney dining plan and you wanted to stay in the moderate, then you would have to pay the difference between the quick service to the moderates. What I have learned is usually that difference in price is just a tiny bit less expensive than just paying for a deluxe. So it's worth just having a look at how much a deluxe resort hotel would cost for your holiday, which includes the full dining plan if Disney are doing that package, or whether the moderate with the quick service would be sufficient. Moderate resort hotels all have pizza delivery to your room, and all deluxe resort hotels all have full room service to your room. So they do offer pizza on their menu, but it's not the same as pizza delivery, but there's obviously a much wider mem uh, memory menu. On the whole, Deluxe also, their room service runs 24 hours a day, whereas moderates don't. So the question is, is it worth the extra money to get all those added extras? This is really dependent on your budget, obviously. I've stayed in both moderate and deluxe resort hotels. The first time Alex went, we stayed in a moderate because I knew that we would hardly be in the room because I wanted him to see all the parks and that was true to fact. We were barely there. It would have been a complete waste of money to spend that extra money on deluxe resort hotels when we're just out all the time. Both sets of hotels are absolutely fantastic. I would be more than happy in either one and you guys will be too, but I just hope that this video sort of clarifies the differences so that you know what you'll be pay paying for. Anyway guys, I hope you found that helpful and um, have a fantastic time if you're going to Disney and I will see you soon.